I'm Petty Officer Michael Wilkin. In the news, Secretary of Defense Robert Gates joined CENTCOM Commander General David Petraeus Thursday for a trip to Scott Air Force Base in Illinois. The defense leaders presented an award to the U.S. Transportation Command, which is headquartered there. Staff Sergeant Brian McGee takes us to the ceremony. Secretary of Defense Robert Gates presented the Joint Meritorious Unit Award to the U.S. Transportation Command. The command earned the award by aiding humanitarian efforts in Haiti, as well as operations enduring in Iraqi freedom. On behalf of everyone in Iraq and Afghanistan who has had clean drinking water or a meal, has had their wounds treated, or has made it through an IED attack in one piece, job well done. Now present their coin. This is the first and only award Mr. Gates has initiated since becoming Secretary of Defense. Staff Sergeant Brian McGee, Scott Air Force Base, Illinois. The commander of Transcom, General Duncan McNabb, says his troops are the ones behind the scenes that ensure things get done. He says the success of Transcom is vital to the success in Iraq and Afghanistan. I think that uh, our strategic ability to move and distribute around the world is one of the greatest asymmetric advantage our country has. And supporting combat commanders like General Petraeus or General Frazier down in Southcom, um, it's the ability that when they're given a mission that they know that we can move that strategic pipeline where they need it to make sure that they get the forces and the supplies they need to win. General McNabb also said his troops are not the kind who expect praise. He said they know they have a mission and just get it done. A distribution network set up by U.S. Transcom in northern Afghanistan consists of five different routes, which allow equipment and supplies to be shuttled to troops more quickly than previously used routes through Pakistan. Lieutenant General William Webster briefed reporters at the Pentagon Friday via satellite. The 3rd Army Commanding General said the northern routes into Afghanistan are bearing fruit. We're now able to move about 50 percent of the supplies in, that we need in, in uh, Afghanistan are being moved over those five routes along the northern distribution network. Lieutenant General Webster said they are about 35 percent finished with the drawdown logistics and some of that equipment will be shifted to Afghanistan while some will return back to the Army to help with training. The urgent need for a mine-resistant all-terrain vehicle in Afghanistan is a prime example of how the Pentagon works to quickly get equipment to the warfighter on the battlefield. That's according to the Undersecretary of Defense for Acquisition Technology and Logistics, Ashton Carter, who spoke Friday in Washington. Just to show you how fast the system can go when we really light a fire under it, we uh, uh, completed the source selection for the MRAP ATV in July last summer. Uh, the first ATVs arrived in Afghanistan in September. Mr. Carter said the Pentagon has accepted about 5,000 MATVs and almost 1,000 of those have been fielded and are in the hands of service members in Afghanistan. Defense Secretary Robert Gates has said the new mine resistant all-terrain vehicle is already saving lives on the battlefields of Afghanistan. And for the latest military news, signature programming and more, head to pentagonchannel.mil. I'm Petty Officer Michael Wilkin with your Pentagon Channel News Update.